Hi everyone, thanks for dropping by my YouTube channel today where I'll be taking some time to speak about making GTK functional in Genie on a Raspberry Pi. If you've tried this in the recent past and had troubles with it, the problem you probably encountered, like I did, is that if you run a GTK slash GTK.h preprocessor command in your C or C++ type file, you'll get a result of no such file or directory compilation terminated when you compile or build the file during testing or as a final result. So for me, I have a Raspberry Pi in Genie. I installed the latest version of Raspberry Pi OS from the download page on Raspberry Pi. It came preloaded with Genie version 1.33, codename Gordon, as you see here. And it's a decent little programmer. It works well enough for the kind of things I do. It's versatile. You can uh, upgrade it a little bit by adding plugins. It works. And most of all, it's free. So those are all good things about it. So I tried writing some C or C++ files with it. I was able to do that. I was able to write them. I was able to compile them. And I was able to build them. So all those functions work in Genie. But when I tried to compile a file using GTK, especially with the include GTK slash GTK dot H preprocessor command, I would get an error when I compile or built. That error would look like no such file or directory. GTK slash GTK dot H file not found, compilation terminated. So what I did is I built a couple of very small C language and C++ files. Basically, they include the gtk slash gtk.h preprocessor command and a void loop. And when I did compile those, or if I did build those, as you see, I received the compilation terminated, compilation failed error. Same with C++ language. I'm running a C++ file in Genie. There's my preprocessor command. When I went to, to compile or build, I get the error kind of frustrating. There is a fix to this problem. I spent some time researching it and I came up with an answer that I'm about to share with you now. First thing we have to remember is if we have an untitled file or a not C or not C++ type file in our programming window over here, when we click on the build menu item, the drop down menu allows us to set build commands. But because we're in an untitled or not a C or C++ command, we wind up with no file type or some other file type which is not related to what we want, C or C++. And that does not give you access to any of the entries here. There's nothing you can change. So to get around that is you load up a C type file, which I did here. I load up a C type file, which is the example I built earlier. You then click on the build command. You then click on set build commands and notice that we now see C commands in this area right here, which means that the compile and build options pop up and we have some default values of what Genie will present the compiler, which is GCC in this case. If I go to a C++ type file, I load up a C++ type file, I click on build, then set build commands, and I wind up with C++ command in my window here. And again, I, I have access to both the compile and build. And you see the default preset values of G++, dash wall, etc. Just a note here that if you want to reset these to default, all you have to do is click on these yellow buttons here. So if you make a mistake entering something or you want to change it back to default, you just have to click here and then remember to click on the OK button at the bottom to save it. So what I did is I made some changes to those parameters for C file types. So I went to the set build commands for C file types and I double checked on which GTK version I was running 2.0 or 3.0. In my instance I was running 3.0. And to the compile box I added the following. In red, I have some text, pkg-config-cflags-gtk plus minus 3, and other text, as you see here. I added that to the current content of the compile box to make a long string of text, which I've marked in blue here. And to the build 
entry I did the same thing but I have a longer string of red text that I added to the default and it made a long string of blue text which is what I pasted into the entry box. I'll have both of these blue texts available as straight text in the video description down below. I did the same thing for C++. Of note here is that the C++ you wind up with a G++ in instead of GCC. G++ instead of GCC. So I added the very same text in red to the current content of G++ wall-C and I did the same thing for build. I added the red text to the current content of the box for the build and made a long string of text. Whatever I have in blue here is what I pasted in the box for the build command. So as you see here this is what my final entries look like. This page relates only to the C program, so, so you see I have GCC here, otherwise I'd have G++ if I was compiling a C++ file. But my long string of text was placed right here, and in the build side was placed right here as well. That's, as I said, that's the exact string of text that I have here. So as I go back to this page, I make those two entries, and you click OK to save them. Don't click on X or Cancel because that will not save them. Click on OK. So for the larger view, to make it easier to view in the video, here's what my C programming compile box and build box look like. Alright, to continue on, I've made up these simple test programs. Basically, they have the include gtk slash gtk.h preprocessor commands. And when I ran that, if I compile it or if I build it, compile or build, in this case I built it, there's a C type file, I'm saying it's a C file, my compilation finished successfully. So that's what I was hoping for. That was my end result I was looking for. The same thing goes with C++. I made a C++ program. You can tell because the endings in C++, CPP. I have my include preprocessor statement here and some do nothing code. If I go ahead and compile it or build it, it is a CPP file, I get compilation finished successfully. So in synopsis, adding those entries as I've shown on both the compile and the build parameters for each of the file types, being C and C++, allowed the include gtk slash gtk.h to compile successfully. So the issues that I had trying to compile a C file or a C++ file with that include preprocessor command was resolved. Give this a try for yourself and hopefully you'll have the same results that I had. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll take the time to please like this video and feel free to add your comments whether it worked or not for you and changes that you can suggest I make. I'll ask you to please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks everyone. Bye bye.